Hi there, welcome back to the channel for another video. So today I'm with the all new Tata Punch that is sitting right behind me and Tata calls it a micro SUV. Obviously, I've seen the car and it does feels like a micro SUV uh, for real. And special thanks to Pragati Motors Tata for allowing me to shoot this video. So the showroom details will be given in the description below and also you can see right now running on the screen. Make sure you make an enquiry for booking the Tata Punch. Also any other Tata cars if you want to go for and if you are from Jorat, make sure you make an enquiry with the numbers given below or in the description. And moving forward towards the Tata Punch. So I will today in this video give the detailed walk around of the car. Obviously this video, lots of videos are out there in YouTube and you have already seen that. And I hope I will show you more in details, but unfortunately I won't be able to give you the drive impression today. Sorry for that. I will give the drive impression in a later video. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and also press that bell notification icon so that you get notified whenever I upload the new video. So without any further delay, let's now start the walk around and show you in details about the Tata Punch Micro SUV. The Tata Punch is Tata Motors newest addition to their passenger car segment and they call it a micro SUV. It surely does look like mini version of their larger SUVs like the Harrier or the Safari when you have a look at it in person. And because of that upright kind of design, the body cladding all over and stance of the car, it looks kind of smart and very quirky. It's derived from the HBX or Hornbill concept that was showcased earlier. And you have also known that it's based on the superior alpha platform just like their premium hatch, the Altros. And as such, it borrows some of the features from that platform like 90 degree opening doors, a flat footboard for the rear passengers, and it's even powered by the same 1.2 liter naturally aspirated 3 cylinder petrol engine that you have seen earlier on the Altros and also the Tiago. So due to use of the Alpha platform, the Punch has also scored excellent 5 star safety rating in Global and Cap, making it one of the safest cars under 10 lakh rupees mark. So in this video, I will show you in details about its exterior and every sort of features that the Punch gets. And for your information, Tata offers the Punch in 4 trims, pure, adventure, accomplished and the top spec variant or the trim level is called creative and prices starts from rupees 5.49 lakhs for the pure base variant and goes up to rupees 8.49 lakh for the top spec creative trim however these prices are introductory and will be valid till december 2021 and in terms of rivals the punch will primarily rival up against cars like suzuki ignis and mahindra kov the 100 which are actually hatchbacks and due to its aggressive pricing, it also rivals against cars like Magnite and Renault Kyger, which are actually compact SUV and are much larger than the Punch. And if you want to know more in details about the Tata Punch, then visit my website www.mototelsany.com that right now you can see in the screen. Go there, you will get every single details about the Punch. And for your information, the car that I will re review in this video is the top spec creative trim which comes loaded with features like automatic headlights and even rain sensing wipers. So without any further delay, let's start the walk around and show you more about various sorts of punchy features that it gets and give my honest verdict if the punch is worth buying. However, I won't give the drive impression in this video. So like always starting with the key, here are two keys that will get with Tata Punch, you will also get physical key. Then coming to the key itself, the Tata logo is given to the one side, then there are four buttons, lock, unlock, follow me headlight button and a dedicated button to open the tailgate of this car. So if I press the follow me headlight button, the DRL turns on and the projector headlight also turns on, really nice fe neat feature comes in handy many of the time now coming to the front fascia of the car you can see that's the front fascia of the car and it really looks nice at first looking at the photos i was a bit skeptical about the looks but right now it looks good and it kind of looks like a baby harrier or safari from the front because of that styling there so this punch is also known as hornbill or the hbx and from that concept it's been derived so micro suv 
so coming here you can see the humanity line treatment up in the front chrome treatment not much big sign of a chrome but chrome is there so here are the drls let me again turn it on the follow me headlight so here you can see the drl of the car neatly placed drl then there is the uh, halogen indicator then here are the fog lamp oh, sorry the headlight setup so projector headlight lower projector then this is the higher beam which is the halogen headlight then there are some uh, vents here venting done here so it doesn't look bad it looks really nice then they are down under here are the fog lights which also gets cornering function so under 10 lakh rupees car gets all this which really sounds good so the headlight placement is in the bumper many a fan of this uh, design personally i am not a great fan i prefer the look of the nexon more i like the headlight up here but that is totally uh, subjective please don't judge me tata fan boys but it looks good in person so humanity line again so the grill gets glossy finish large tata badging done here then here gets the tristar logo treatment obviously there is a the horn here which sound good and not like some tabla and all that what sort of things are going to come in future i don't know then down under here the split grill treatment is done tristar logo here tristar logo here so this car has a really nice ground clearance as you can see and also gets really nice departure angle breakover angle and approach angle so approach angle is around 22 point something degree uh, every sort of details will be given on the screen in this side you can see so that's the front face here of the car now coming to the side profile so this is the side profile of the car you can see so from the front down under here it gets scratchy metal not body colored it's not colored it's plastic so scratchy body cladding is given and the wheel arches are squared out wheel arches so the body cladding runs along the whole body of the car as you can see so along the side doors then also the rear i'll come to the rear in a bit let me first talk about the wheels and all so 16 inch alloy wheels which looks nice diamond cut dual tone alloy wheel and alloy wheel only come at the top spec creative model this is the top spec creative variant uh, so alloy come with this spec so ventilated disc some plastic was there in the disc brake and all uh, so the wheel section is 195 60 r16 so how many car comes under 10 lakh with 16 inch wheel so it's a good punchy feature that's it the, that tata has offered with the punch so considering its rival yes 15 inch wheels are given in the ignis and all so that is great feature then this the side profile obviously get that floating roof type treatment because of the dual tone effect also comes with monotone color this is the spec variant so dual tone effect is given this obviously roof rails are non-functional then there is the antenna you can see this car is really tall not the tall but it's tall considering it's travel taller than then then again the body side cladding you can see the wing mirrors will get integrated led indicators and also glossy finished uh, wing mirrors are there so you can see one thing the door handles there also get the request sensor and the door handle in the rear door is up there and it really gives a real clean profile to the car so the door handles are here it opens like this i will show the doors in a bit and then again uh square door to wheel arch at the rear so here are the wrap around uh, led lights let me turn on the light again so these are the led tri led light and the brake light is around here in the middle portion which looks really nice obviously halogen led treatment is done and this really looks great than the uh, rear light of the nexon i really like that and obviously tata is written here the apparent treatment this gets halogen indicator then there is the uh, rear or the reverse light halogen light then this is the rear profile of the car again tristar logo is done here then there is the reflector two parking sensors are there uh, the rear profile really looks very clean 
uh, very clean design is given to the rear profile uh, then here is the easter egg a rhinosaurus logo is given then the fogger treatment is done high stop led brake light then vocal for look and return here also gets windshield washer wiper at the rear which is good then tata badging is done neatly placed reverse parking camera punch badging is done here obviously plastic uh, bumper and there is a place to put uh, hello fog lamp here which is really good so you can see the departure angle of the car is also very nice then there is the exhaust looks nothing special but looks good then here is the fuel cap it holds around 36 liters of fuel i guess so every single details will be given in the screen and it is, doesn't hold magnetically spring mechanism obviously you have to uh, open it from the driver's side there is a knob so that's on the side profile of the car now let me open the boot and show you the boot space and all so to open the boot you can remotely open it or there is a request button here so magnetically holding boot and there are the led lights for the license plate so boot also gets a handle it opens really nice and wide but the loading lip is a bit deep uh, carpeting is or the carpeting obviously carpeting is done then there are hooks here to put something and it can hold up to one kg return don't put much above that white material is done this is the parcel cell which looks a bit flimsy Mm, because obviously cost cutting is done in this car then the these are the shock absorber mounts and all which are visible then down under here it takes a bit effort to open this up down under here is a 15 inch steel uh, spare wheel obviously there are various tools given which is nice and the boot space is around 366 liters which is good uh, in the in the particular uh, or compared to its rival it's really very good boot size uh, like considering the ignis and kv one double kv one double doesn't sell much it, this car also competes with um, the nissan magnite and reno kiger in terms of pricing but those cars are much bigger than this those are actually compact suv but overall considering the pricing this car also competes with them no uh, 60 40 split seat but you can open the seat or you can tilt the seat from here and also you have to push it from here so like this you can tilt it to increase the boot space the rear gates obviously uh, adjustable headrest for both the passengers but the middle passenger according to car makers doesn't get any head so no headrest for the middle passenger here so let's close the boot and show you the interior of the car first i will show you the rear then i will show you the front interior of the car coming to the doors so this car is based on the alpha platform just like the altros and due to that the doors open 90 degree and there is a neat feature with the door uh, obviously the rear door i have shown you it opens from here so if there are few uh, places where the door holds so if you put it here the door holds here then one more is here then one more totally 90 degree it opens and holds there so this car is not that wide but once you open the door 90 degree see how much the car gets wide i don't think it's a very useful feature for rear passengers ears is sometimes it's very useful but ingress and degress of this car is really very good and obviously alpha platform so it's offered with this i don't think it's much of a useful feature but obviously it's given so welcome and again scratchy plastic considering the price of the car the door panels are scratchy satin finishing done here twitter placed here speaker here uh, pockets here or bottle holder here which can hold up to one liter and one uh, half liter of bottle two bottles holder are given so place to put your hand, uh, hand and pull the door so here is a button for uh, rolling up and down the window no one touch auto up down and empty pins function in the passenger doors and all this uh, door handle here gets scratchy type material and also gets that white treatment uh, not a good choice of color because it will get really dirty as you can see here i have uh, used my fingers and it already got some dirt inserted into here uh, tri startup logo treatment is given which is look good so obviously here is the interior or the rear seats the 
rear footboard is flat because of that alpha platform uh, board from the Altros and you have already known the safety rating of the car which is 5 star under 10 lakh it's one of the safest car both for front and rear passenger 5 star safety rating is not a joke it's really good and Tata offers it with 5 star safety rating under 10 lakh rupees what more do you want if you want to get a car safest car under 10 lakh rupees so this is the car to go in every sort of thing right now i'm seeing that it has lots of punchy features except the engine i'll talk about the engine but unfortunately in this video i won't be able to show you the uh, driving or the driving impression of the car as the car is not available for test drive i'll do the test drive in a later video and tell you more about how the engine feels or how the car drives out on the road now coming to the rear obviously i will show you the uh, seat and all uh, like it's not a split seat setup but headrest are there middle passenger obviously car makers think middle passengers don't have head so no headrest are given so these headrests are adjustable uh, so adjustment is done from here so you can see adjustable headrest obviously i am not able to do it with one hand forgive me for that nice mechanism for both the passengers but the middle passenger doesn't get three point seat belt obviously isofix child seat anchoring mounts are here from the base variant itself this is the top spray variant then tristar logo is done here fabric material uh, seat now let me put the key to my other pocket and get inside the car so obviously ingress and degrees of the car is good because of the 90 degree opening door and the seat cushioning is really very nice but the seat incline is not that great it's very upright as you can see the seat is very upright so not big fan of the rear passenger seat uh, of the punch it's very upright but there is a armrest here obviously there have to be because uh, people want that and but in terms of spacing tata is known for doing a nice interior spacing for the car right from the beginning like from the indica and all and also you've seen on the nano so the under thigh support of the car is good not bad the under thigh support is good also lots of knee room the seat are not scooped out but there is a pocket in the front seat here not scooped out seat so the under thigh support is good the knee room is good lots of leg room obviously the seat has been moved forward but if the seat is moved even backward or rear the under thigh or the knee room will be good in this car this car has a uh, wheelbase of around uh, 2.4 meters sorry not 2.6 2.4 meters around 2.4 meter wheelbase so not that uh, long but it's good obviously three people will be uh, comfortable because the rear floor here is flat but no AC vents major missing of AC vents here some car come or hatchback comes with rear AC vents so Tata could have given it but there are four AC vents at the front and obviously Tata ACs are really nice powerful so the cabin is not that big so much of it won't be much of an issue to cool down the cabin really fast then parcel self obviously Sony defogger type material is given in the rear windshield and you can see the viewing angles from the rear passenger seat people won't be feeling claustrophobic the rear windows are really nice and big the inner material or the headliner is also good there is a uh, handle here in the passenger side all the passenger side a hook is also given here hope you can see then here also hook is given then this is the front of the or the dashboard of the car which i'll talk in a bit but it looks really nice but the material i have to honestly tell you doesn't feel very good it feels really very scratchy doesn't feel cheap either but doesn't feel good either with the feeling is not that great because here you can see can you hear the sound very scratchy very scratchy it won't get scratches but it feels like scratchy and here also scratchy no adjustable uh, seat belts nothing much more to show here again door pockets there bottle holder speaker white part not i don't think it will be much of a news it will really get dirty again the button for rolling up and down the window so that's everything on the rear of the car let me go to the front and show you more about the front seats of the car in details now coming to the front doors of the car so as you can see here is a request button and if i press the request button here the car locks and the auto folding mirror also goes inside and if i 
press the request button here the auto folding mirror folds out and then i can open the door obviously again 90 degree doors but as you can see not much of an use because if two cars are parked like this then not much of an use for 90 degree doors that's what i say not much a useful feature but let me just show the doors and all again scratchy material different types of material are used to place here satin finish door handle uh, electrically adjustable outside wing mirrors so under 10 lakh you you are getting that which is a nice feature so this car the creative variant has a starting introductory axolom price of 8.49 lakh so it will cost you around uh, 9, point, 9 point something on road make an inquiry with the showroom the showroom details are given in the description below uh, so you will have to make the inquiry as i won't be able to say the offers and all so there are the controls the window control for the driver side glows other control doesn't glows then there is the lock button for the window up and down central locking button is not given here then there is the door holding door or thing to handle not handle actually thing to hold the door and close it then this thing is not that great choice as i've already shown you white color contrast look good but not that great choice to give in a, a car like this because it will get dirty obviously then large door pocket is here one liter bottle can be hold then there are some more space here to put paperwork and such also there is a uh, umbrella holder here both the front doors get umbrella holder which is a really very neat feature then down under here you get puddle lamp how many cars have you seen they get puddle lamp so this car gets that noise car plating is done in the door seals but here it's something is there at the door seal but not outside here the body material is there so scratches it will be prone to a bit scratches but once you go inside you have to pull, put the leg up so most of the scratches will be taking or hitting up here then the side is cutting also get plastic material which will save the car from various uh, debris and all so that is a good feature the driver seat gets six way adjustable manually adjustable adjustment so height adjustable is there recline then sliding adjustment obviously there now the seat cushioning is done really nicely that is the interior of the car which looks nice then here are some buttons so start stop button then eco mode then this is for the fog lamp switch and all then here is also a start stop system button so this car engine does the work with altros and tiago as you have already seen but those in doesn't come with start stop button uh, or system this car or this engine in the punch tata is offered with start stop system which is a really very nice feature it will help with the fuel economy of the car and tata claims it will get around 18 km per liter of fuel economy naturally aspirated engine i don't think so but it's there so some more things so here is the knob for opening the mm, fuel lid of the car then here is a knob for opening the hood of the car then there is a pocket it's really very deep here you can obviously keep your phone here so the phone goes inside it's really very deep also coin and keys can be put here so start stop button obviously shown you ac vent here so before going inside let me show you the pedal configuration obviously this car is the manual five speed gear car as you can see the gear lever and also comes with amt so this is the manual three pedals clutch brake accelerator also there is a dead pedal there tata is known for doing spacing nicely inside their cars so a proper dead pedal is given the nissan magnite and the reno kaiga at the top spec variant also doesn't come with any proper dead pedal it's in the tata punch really a neat feature ignis also doesn't get that and the ignis comparison video will be coming soon so keep watching the video and if if you like my work what i am doing please subscribe to my channel and support me by subscribing to it now let's go inside and show you more in details about the interior of the car so coming inside first of all the front seats are really very comfortable considering the back seats front seats good comfortable good cushioning is given the seats are not that much big it's good enough for a person of my size also up to 5.9 and all the person will be really comfortable with this seat there won't be much of an issue 
now talking about the headroom the headroom of the uh, front seat is really good also gets adjustable seat so if you are a shorter person you can really increase the seat height and get a commanding view up of the front then the seat belt doesn't get any height adjustability obviously adjustable headrest which is good three point type seat belts is there and pretensioner is there which is really a very neat feature and then the front passenger seat, uh, seat doesn't get any height adjustability but it's of good quality the cushioning is done good then again try startup logo white stitching done here i was not able to show you in the back seat then again everything is there like considering the price segment this car top spec car is provided with nice features then the sunset uh, on the driver's side is good not that big but there is a pocket to keep some paperwork and all also it can be detached from here and works as a side sunset but the area here it doesn't cover so not much of an use the headliner is good not that of excellent quality but it's good decent considering the price of the car and coming to the driver or co-driver side sunset airbag warning and all a vanity mirror is there but no light placement obviously then just like the the driver side door the passenger side door also gets water bottle holder umbrella holder then the chrome treatment or the satin finish treatment on the door handle twitter so that's everything on the car so this is the dashboard here and that is the seven inch harman screen which i'll come to a bit and the materials used are really very scratchy as you can see so different sorts of materials are used here the texture is different here brush the finishing is given in this middle portion then there is a little bit uh, something sort of different design is there then here is the tri startup logo treatment is given in this white this will really get dirty then the ac vents get here satin type treatment not chrome satin actually then here is the hazard light switch some chrome garnish is gear given here on the slider of the ac vent so this treatment changes according to the color of the car the blue car comes or the blue colored car comes with a blue colored uh, accent here which looks really nice not bad so here are the ac controls uh, front defogger rear defogger so here are the controls for the um, direction of the air then here are the fan control buttons are given not bad here is the ac then here is the ac circulation then off then auto ac is also there this is for the temperature control as you can see the screen also shows every sort of thing no dedicated ac control screen is shown here then down under here you can see a usb uh, port is there then a power socket is there then there is the five speed gear lever which also gets leather treatment here no leather wrapped in the gear knob itself then there is a place to put your phone here so here you can see a place is there then down under here also you can see a place is there to uh, or a power socket is there 12 volt power socket then here are some space to put the keys and all here is the manual handbrake lever then coming to the glove box light is placed there a deep glove box you can put really a 14 inch laptop here and obviously this is a cool glove box which is a really very neat feature cool glove box should be given in and this car is under 9 lakh or 10 lakh so obviously cool glove box should be given in every sort of car some expensive car doesn't come with this feature so it's fairly of nice size paperwork can be kept here some particular paperwork is there manual channel you can see then there is also a rhino here hope the camera is covering you can see light is placed so nothing much to show nice size glove box then there is also a hook here so which can be closed and so you can keep some uh, shopping material and all if you your passenger can keep here so that's it nothing much to show now coming to the steering wheel the steering wheel gets radar treatment let me put the seat a bit back to show you more clearly and then again the there are this is the three spoke steering wheel the horn placement is done here so really nice it really feels good or nice to hold in the hand unfortunately i won't be able to give you the drive impression in this video i will do that in another video so make sure you subscribe to my channel and so press the bell notification icon so that when i upload the video you get notified immediately and multi-function steering wheel is there 
obviously flat bottom steering wheel the steering wheel also comes with tilt adjustability so you can see tilt adjustable height adjustable seat so lots of adjustment with a car under 10 lakh rupees it's there so which is good tata is really uh, make playing up their game and have really priced this car very aggressively to give that knockout blow to other cars also i think tata will give the knockout blow to their own cars like the tiago and all so let's talk about the controls and all here are the controls for this screen there 7 inch screen harman system then here are the controls for the uh, screen and all the digital instrument cluster here so cruise control is also there in this car which is really nice then this button here changes the menu there then obviously digital analog instrument cluster not like the next one but to the one you have seen on the Elcros and the tata harrier so this is the lcd colored lcd is there and it really looks nice the resolution is good power and torque figure are showing right now then here to the left side is the analog meter so let me just turn it off and get my camera close and show you more the instrument cluster of this car so that's the swipe up thing done the tata logo is there and various telltale lights you can see so to this left side you can see the digital uh, cluster uh, that shows the tachometer and all power tour and torque figures and to scroll through the menus in this screen you have to scroll through here so once i go through there or press the button here you can see various sorts of information are showing average uh, fuel consumption then trip a trip b trip uh, then power and torque figure obviously i have to start the card for doing that then Eco economy mode. drive mode activated so there is the economy drive mode then city, city drive, drive mode, mode so activated. that's there uh, then various tilt lights the seat belt reminder then handbrake then battery voltage and all then you have to press the brake to start the car all sort of things are there so here is the analog speedometer no digitally it's not right now showing it here i have to drive the car to see if it's showing or not so stay tuned for that now coming to various other controls uh, here are the light controls obviously automatic headlight is given in this creative trim also gets rain sensing auto wipers you can also get this automatic headlight and rain sensing wipers in the accomplished variant by opting for customization pack like the dazzle pack is there and also there is uh, another rhythm pack that uh, applies with the base variant that is the pure so tata offers the car in total of four trim levels that you can see right now and there are two customization packs so lots of customization can be done in this car which is really good now coming to the screen to this side so this is a 7 inch harman kardon screen that comes with android auto apple carplay this screen you have already seen in other tata cars lots of information are shown in this screen uh, which is really good then there is the audio setup then there are doodle and all something like that then and drive next is there that shows how you are driving the efficiency and all every sort of details are there the, this car the or sorry this screen the resolution is really very good i have driven the honda city few days back and done the review so you can check out the review somewhere in the pop-up button there the screen resolution was really very worse i have to say that honestly but here the screen resolution is good but the touch response is not that great it's a little bit slow as you can see when i do this little bit slow then there are various themes and all you can change the color like once you change the color color here so from here you have to change the color sorry so zen is there then zing is there if you choose this the screen also here changes color then once you change the color zeal and also the climate control also changes here once you change the color to zeal so this also changes to yellowish type color like this but i prefer it to be in zen mode so that's their theme activated and it also turns blue which is really nice neat feature lots of uh, customization option are there audio setup is also there so that means you can set the equalizer and all i will obviously give you the sound check of this car so that's everything of the screen obviously comes with four main speakers on each door and six tweeters so two tweeters there there on the a pillar then 
they are on the door handle near the door handle in all the four doors here also then also there so sound should be good let's now connect my phone to this system and give you the sound check of the car so right now my phone is connected to this system and let me show you how the music in this car sounds I'll turn out the volume. So this is obviously the top spec model which comes with a, again I'm telling four speakers and six tweeters so it should sound really good. Have a check. So the volume control can be done from here. It's staying motor controls are given. But the lower spec car doesn't get that. So the sound So that's the sound system of this car. Obviously, it sounds really good. I really like the treble and bass, uh, and it can also be configured like I mean, there are settings for the audio system and all. So here you can see like equalizers are given, which is really a nice feature. But in default setting, it really sounds nice. That's good. Uh, obviously, this is the top strength model, and with the customization pack, you can also get this type of speaker with the accomplished variant. So this sounds really good. I really love the sound quality of this car. Under 10 lakh, a good music system, obviously from Harman. So the sound quality is great. But I think there is a major miss with the Tata is that a dedicated knob should be given. I don't know where they have to implement to look it good, but there should be a knob for controlling the volume should be given. Uh, steering mounted controls are there in this car, so it doesn't need that. But the variant which doesn't come with steering mounted control, they don't even get this Harman system. They get a normal. Uh, four speaker audio system so there i think the knob is there but this system should also need a knob a touch screen volume control and all is i don't like that very much uh, the touch screen volume control is also get voice command feature so if i press the button here increase the fan speed say a command increase the fan speed sure increasing fan speed to two okay so that's it how it works so it's not that gimmicky the voice command really works nicely now coming to other things obviously radio usb voice command and all are there you can access the voice command from here don't you don't need to go here so this is really a very nice screen by tata uh, and then going to back to home you can also see much here then there is park assist so it shows and it has adaptive guidelines actually so if i turn on the car and show you the so you can see the car has adaptive guidelines under 10 lakh rupees how many cars give you adaptive guidelines so it has that and it's really good and you can also drive the car like this so it really gives that uh, nice rear view without even watching the rear view mirror you can keep a eye on the rear view from here itself so that's everything on the interior of the car now let me just pop up the hood and show you more about the engines or or the engine of this car so coming to the engine bay of this car you can see the hood gets insulation which is good and obviously the hood quality is really good it's heavy because tata gives really nice metal to their cars there are really blank spaces here and there not much of an issue there is the abs motor so this is the 1.3 liter sorry 1.2 liter petrol engine three cylinder obviously naturally aspirated makes around uh, 86 horsepower and 130 newton meters of torque as i have already told you and this also does job with in the 
Tata Altros and uh, Tiago as you have already seen so nothing much more to show comes with 5 speed gearbox no diesel option with punch and obviously I think uh, with time they will provide the turbo petrol engine but this car is made really looking at pricing and cost cutting so I don't think it will be a really very fast move to bring in the turbo petrol engine this is what you will get a sole engine with the Tata Punch and you can see the firewall also gets insulation so that the heat doesn't go inside and everything is neatly placed so this part also uh, plastics are given really nicely and good not bad under 10 lakhs what more can you expect so it's really good nothing much more to brag about the car or i won't say much uh, really bad things about this car it's really nicely built so that was everything about the exterior and interior details of the new tata punch micro suv and hope you have learned something more from my video and if you do then make sure you like the video also subscribe to my channel and support me and press the bell notification icon so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video to this channel so that's everything for today bye